Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. We're back here at Cywell Flylight. Uh, Erwin's off on a lesson. Sorry for the noise in the background. Microlight's enhancing the audio. I've got the, uh, the Bluetooth mic on today, so hopefully that should be cutting a lot of the sound out. Anyway, a bit of echo in the hangar. Today, it's January, and two years ago, I was back here getting the hang point modification uh, on my wing. Uh, and I'm back here again looking at another modification. So I've alluded to this, um, what's happening in a number of videos. So basically, to allow me to keep my G reg registration, I'm going for what we're calling a wing skin upgrade. Uh, we're doing some modifications to the wing, and my wing is, we're going to look at the, the art of the possible of upgrading my wing to the new Adam style wing. So my Fox 13 is gonna be modified to be an Adam, which I'm really excited about. As you can probably tell when I flew the Adam wing and the Adam trike, one here. Uh, when I flew it, I was really, really happy with it. So basically we're back here and I'm gonna upgrade my wing. We're gonna see what, how it works and whether it's a viable option. So Ben and I have got our cold weather kit on and hopefully we'll run through what we're doing to, uh, to upgrade and then we'll do some concluding thoughts at the end of whether it's a viable option or not. Um, so anyway, let's get on with the modification. I'm actually gonna start taking my machine, my wing, apart. First of all, we've got to change the uprights. The uprights, and that's the easy one. Because the newer wings have black uprights, so a great expense. I shall just change those. My able-bodied assistant here, Clive Mason. Very able. Yeah. <laughs> Clive Mason, sort of. Uh, it's amazing what sort of stuff you get. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay. We'll see you later, Clive. Uh, oh. So the outer leading edge is coming off now, isn't it? Yeah, so what we've got to do is sail's got to come off. Uh, just to go to the bare frame. Then we put the new sail back on to the frame. I'm glad Ben's helping with this. <laughs> Sorry? So I'm glad you're helping with this. <laughs> Right, sail coming off, so in order to be able to take the outer leading edges off we've got to just undo these two screws. Because mine doesn't short pack does it? Because yours doesn't short pack. All Adams and Fox, uh, Fox 13 T's do short pack. Except now. mine. <laughs> Except for yours was a little bit on the early side. Okay, outer leading edge so we can That's good. I've got the tube. You've got the tube. So as we've got dual mics on at the moment, you'll probably hear Ben chuntering away in the background, but we're now in the stage where we're gonna take the lettering off this wing and then it's gonna get transferred over to the other wing. The main point is that there's so much detail in this for the short video that I'm gonna be making that we just haven't got the time to show you all the steps that we're doing. So we've just given you hopefully a flavor of, of what's actually happening with this, this wing, wing upgrade and hopefully some of the mechanics of us cutting the keel tube down because that's got to be modified. The cross tubes sit at a different angle. Um, so uh, this would be about a three hour video if we were to do this real time. But I so say hopefully that will have given you a flavour. So I'm going to stop talking to the camera. Ben and I are just going to crack on um, and get this, uh, this wing modified. Let's get these uh, new uprights on. Don't drop the pin, Ben. <laughs> Get it lined up first. Get in, there we go. Boop. Okay, now if you can support the tubes, I'll put the tape around. Leading edges back in, cross tubes have been changed and the new sail on. Been a busy morning, hasn't it? Yeah. 
So we're just going to quickly wrap up what's gone on today and hopefully with a few of the, uh, the sort of impromptu uh, voiceovers you'll have understood what we've actually had to go through or what Ben's actually had to go through in reskinning my wing to make it from a Fox 13 to an Adam. Um, what's your views on how busy we've been today, Ben? Uh, very. It's um, Actually, it was surprising for even me. I thought it would be a little bit simpler to be able to reskin. Mm. Um, but uh, yes, it's a bit more complicated. There's a lot more involved. So to offer it commercially, I don't think we will be able to do that. However, it's a successful reskinning. You've now got an Adam instead of a Fox 13T. Yeah. Uh, so hopefully all's good. And those that have seen when I flew a friend's uh, Monster Adam and when I flew Ben's Atom Adam, I was just gobsmacked at how how much I liked it and that's why it's the only reason I went down this route in addition to the fact I, get, I kept to keep the best G-Reg in the world. So I'm going to go away happy, it's dark outside, we're in the hangar because that's the only way we can get some light, it's been that much of a busy day. Um, I say thank you again Ben for your time, it's been really very much appreciated and until next time everybody, fly safe. just floated straight on on the fox so this is totally changed trim i say that i'm still floating on a bit but uh oh yeah, i can bring it down there we go nice like that one full power full neutral coming forward and we're off speed of supply coming in a bit short resetting